So I was thinking of doing something different here. I found out there's an r slash catfish forum and I wanted to talk about a few of the stories there. Let's see how it goes and if you enjoy the video, please leave a like and subscribe to the channel. I will put the OP's name on screen because there are some usernames that are like going on to me. Let's begin. This one is called Emotional Catfish for Year Friendship. I was emotionally catfished by someone I met on Reddit. Not even this place is safe. No money was ever exchanged nor requested. This was not a romantic relationship either, although I did love them and the friendship I thought we have built. That's because there is a clear difference between a roman scammer and a catfish. A roman scammer is more geared towards money and they will do the bare minimum in terms of building an emotional connection. That is taken care of with stolen poems and a manual of romantic phrases. The catfish on the other hand is mostly about that emotional connection. These are lonely, angry, bored people who crave human interactions but for whatever reason they cannot do it by using their their own identity. We connected about four years ago over being 40-ish and living with chronic depression, etc. They posted about losing their usual and hard-earning coping mechanisms during the pandemic and I related quite a bit. Everyone struggled differently during the pandemic, right? Some started reading or exercising to cope and some others realized the person they married sucked, so there were a lot of divorces during the lockdown. We struck up a conversation and continued to talk daily for about four years. Fast forward for about a month when I discovered that they are actually in their late 20s and they are trans. They lied about some of the traumatic things that happened to them to which I am assuming they told me to gain my empathy and support which I gave to them freely. I disclosed things too, all of which were true. And I am left feeling rather, I don't know, gross, violated in terms of trust? I'm not exactly sure. Listen, four years lying to someone? We are not dealing with a troll here. There's a lot of years to keep up with talking to someone, having a deep emotional connection just for the love. No, I don't, I don't think so. Probably what happened is a tactic scammers use to gain rapid trust, which is the animorph technique. At least that's how I call it. They transform into their prey. They like everything they do. They listen to the same music, the same movies, and the same hardships, especially this last one they milk a struggle story and they go from there i confronted them and they were apologetic and say they wanted to be honest but were worried that i wouldn't want to be friends anymore if they had told me the truth as in what the very beginning with the age thing or later with the lying about their emotional struggles because those two are very different age um, yeah, they lied, but whatever. There's a lot of people who lie about it and they were still adults talking. But the other part is more than disgusting. What they did was essentially cosplay other people's nightmares, right? I am just gobsmacked. I just don't get it. I understand fudgy in details, but why mess with a person for so long? It's not just hurtful, it's harmful and incredibly destabilizing. I feel like I'm the butt of the joke in all of this. But you're not. You did nothing wrong here. You opened your heart in a forum and a stranger approached you to have a meaningful conversation, which you had. You were truthful to yourself and to this person. And unfortunately, it was not reciprocated. But let me tell you, cases like this are not the norm. So don't be persuaded to change who you are because of that deception. Now, be safe with the things you let go on the internet because at the end of the day, we are all strangers here. I'm at a loss. Why would someone do this to someone else? I get that people are lonely and sad and mentally unwell, but why mess with someone for so long? I'm heartbroken still as I miss the friend that I thought I had and realized that I had invested a lot of time in someone that was not really real. It's crazy making. I feel incredibly stupid and sick to my stomach still. Because people like this prey on the vulnerable and like you said, they are lonely, they are sad and they are mentally unwell. They create a second life and live it up until their life end up eating them. Four years of lying in place a big notebook next to the computer just to keep up with every single detail they told. That sounds exhausting and deranged. And this is an edit the OP wrote. Video calling. I am profoundly deaf. 
video calling with hearing problems, I, I think, is not as easy as it may seem. I will, however, make arrangements to do so if I find myself making an acquaintance online in the future. Okay, let's just Alex Jones this a little. What if the catfish meddled with the audio and gaslit OP into thinking it was their ears the problem? Could it be? that the catfish lied about the audio just to avoid a physical encounter? I mean, they are not to be trusted, so what do you think? OP, if you are seeing this, I will say make a video call with someone you trust, like a family member or a friend that you know for sure, to check the audio on the call, just, just to be sure. Again, you are not to blame here, don't let this person change you, but treat this as a lesson. You cannot fully trust someone online. I wish you the best in everything and thank you for opening up to us. The next one is called dating someone for six months now. Am I catfish? Please someone check and help me. I met a guy from Kick. He's 24 and owns a business with his brother. So to make the story short, we exchanged pictures, started talking and fell for each other. I started to ask him if we could have a video call. He said he is going to my country anyways and we don't need that. I'm sorry, what? How does that have to do with anything? You can video chat and travel. Those two things are not exclusive. You know what? It reminded me of something I did. I kind of pulled something similar like this. When I was seven, the teacher handed us our graded exams to give to our parents so they can sign them and give them back to the teacher so she could know the parents are aware of the kids' grades. I, listen, I was a smart kid. And probably I passed that exam, but if you must know anything about me or my family is that we have the worst memory problem ever. I forgot about the exam, but I told the teacher I didn't bring it, but it's okay because my parents want to talk to you. <laughs> which is a lie but i guess it worked because i can't remember the aftermath i was seven this dude is 24. i was i was a conniving child okay imagine this adult this is a red flag all the way he also said that he doesn't trust all these companies stealing information and such so i respect that Oh, we are having another Alex Jones moment. I eat babies, I eat them every night, I eat them with barbecue sauce. Creepy coincidence. So this guy doesn't have a meta account, so no Instagram, no Facebook. I mean, does he have a phone? What a, what a wacky conspiracy theory, a dumb one. So before I get madly in love with him, can someone please check if he's a catfish? I want to make sure before I picked him up at the airport, he might not end up showing up. Ugh, I don't believe in conspiracy theories, but let's just go full tinfoil hat in this one. This person knows who you are and how you look. You don't. Opie posted a picture I prefer not to show just because we don't know if this guy is involved in anything, but the picture sure looks uncanny valley-ish. It looks heavy edited. Maybe filters, some tweaks here and there. You don't really know how this person look like and you are picking him up at the airport. You might not recognize anybody, but he will. And now you are stuck with a complete stranger who lied to you and rejected the idea of video chat for a reason. Even if the dude is who he said he is, he didn't want to meet you halfway. Everything is his way. You want a video chat? but he shoots that down saying, no, 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 we will meet in person. That's, that's weird, that's not normal. If you go pick him up, don't go alone. Stay safe, OP. I hope everything got resolved and you are safe. What do you think about these stories, guys? Leave me your thoughts in the comments. Don't forget to subscribe and leave a like. It really helps. I will see you in the next video. Thank you for watching. Bye.